Hello, Forecaster here again, and this is a quick addendum to the last part of the Railcraft routing tutorial about regular expressions. So this is regex101.com, which I recommended in the video, and that recommendation still stands. However, um, I got a question about an issue someone ha was having with getting a regular expression to work and I thought I should provide some instructions on how to actually use regex 101 uh, in for writing regular expressions for railcraft so in front of us we have a text field here which is where your regular expression go of course then here we have a test string area which is where you will put your destination string that you will try to match against so here I would for example put home slash um, lime there we go which is my destination string that I used in the video uh, and here I would put the regular expression. Now, as you enter things in here, uh, you're going to see that regex101 starts highlighting the matching text inside of the regular or instead of inside of the text string. So if I enter this here, um, we'll see that we have first that we have an error here it says unescaped delimiter and that is because we have a slash here uh, which is not escaped which means that we need to preface it with a backwards slash which is a simple fix um, and this is because a forward slash is used for other things which means that we need to put a backward slash before it to tell the regular expression that it this is just a norm we want this to be a normal forward slash so that is how you fix that now you'll see that it says one match here and we have the entire text highlighted as one which means we have a match. Now the problem someone had, and I'm going to use their example, they had um, something like this, and they had put their regular expression to dest question mark equals red green and this is a valid regular expression so what we have here is a group and then we have red or green so these this pipe symbol will tell the regular expression to either match these characters in this order or these characters in this order and the group makes sure that these um, only one of these apply so as you can see we have a partial match here um, but uh, which looks correct in regex 101 but you'll notice that the match is at the end of the string and we are not matching the start of the string so when railcraft will interpret this it's going to start at the start of the string and it's going to fail immediately here because as you might remember railcraft will match from the start of the string towards the end and as long as the beginning of the string is correct it doesn't matter what the rest is it will still return true but here we have the match at the end which is going to return false so the fix for this is to of course preface this with home slash and then we're going to need to escape 
this and now you can see that we have one match that starts at the beginning and goes all the way to the end and you will notice that the match within this group is highlighted in green as opposed to the general uh, home slash that is blue so if we change this to green it is still going to match um, now another tip when using regex 101 is this field over here if you enter multiple lines say we enter home red here and then maybe home blue you'll notice that this string which should match our regular expression doesn't and that is because this it currently interprets interprets this as an uh, as one string with line breaks here and um, if we want it to interpret each line as a separate string we would add an M here and then a G and you can read what these do here um, and you can see now that it matches both the green uh, and the red line but not the blue line and you can see each match here so now you can enter multiple lines to test against multiple different destination strings so if we want to add the third line here we would do this and we now match this entire line as well um, but if we s remove this home slash again we're going to get this again so one good tip what to properly test this and have this be correct is to add a um, uh, let's see there we go is to add this symbol to the beginning of your regular expression now you don't want to include this in your routing table probably because it's not necessary and you can see what it does here it specifies that this should be the start of the string and you will see that none of these no, uh, none of these match anymore because the string doesn't start before the word we are looking for there's something ahead of it if we delete the home this is going to match or if we add home and then an escaped forward slash here it is going to match again uh, so if you add this before your regular expression it's going to behave properly in, as it would in Railcraft and then of course you only want to copy this bit when you put it in uh, in Railcraft itself in the routing table so I hope this helps with figuring out regular expressions a bit or getting them to work at least and I will see you in the next video